Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's your girl Emily Crow with iHeartRadio, and we're hanging out with Cosine, and we're about to play our Wheel of Collabs. And this one's looking a little bit different. Cosine has sent in all of his dream collaborations. So we're gonna spin the wheel, and Cosine, when we land on it, you're gonna tell me what you have in mind, how you think this collaboration would go. Manifest it. Yes, that's what this is. That's what this is. So we have some amazing artists on here. Are you ready to spin? I am ready. Here we go. Janae Aiko. There we go. There we go. See what's going to happen is Janae is going to call and say, Hey, Cosign, um, my relationship with Big Sean is just continuing to flourish. I just really want to make music about love and just go to another level. And I need you. I need your chords. I need your mind to help me create the most amazing, iconic, love-based, love-filled body of work to just truly show my fans in the world where I'm at with it. Um, the Janae voice is some, great. <laughs> <laughs> Janae, I'm a fan. Okay. I, I, I love your um, fairy godmother ways, mm. you know, and I'm humbled and I'm honored to just help push push your narrative forward Ooh. through music. I'm here. Okay, I was here for this, for this fake conversation. I was in it, I was invested. <laughs> Sounds good to go, sounds good to go. All right, let's spin again, this is fun. Collaboration number two is Hey, Lana Janae, I could get, but we're going with Drake because I want to. I want to hear about Drake. Six, 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 six. He's gonna be like, "No, this is crazy because I actually have a real story about Drake. I okay. have two stories about Drake. Let's First, it. Uh, it was in Atlanta. Um, whatever mixtape it was when he had Sooner Than Later, that song. Mm. Oh man, mm. girl, can you do me a favor if I get it together? maybe sooner than later, I was like, bro, that's just such a conversation. And I ran into him in the studio in Atlanta, you know, had a moment where I just gave him his flowers, played some beats in the studio. Nothing ever came of it. Um, then he goes on to be an iconic star and I'm in Chicago in 2015. His tour comes to Chicago and all of the VIPs in Chicago are waiting to meet him in this club. And the owners of the club just assume that me and Drake were best friends. Oh, co here, Drake's here. Let's just introduce him. And I was, I, I just wasn't ready to say, I don't know him like that. So I just went along with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Drake, oh, yeah, I do know him. Yeah, yeah, oh, y'all want me to? Oh yeah, I'll go over there and say, what's up? They walked me past all of the greats in Chicago. And I'm sitting there walking past this feeling like kind of awkward a little bit. Like, hey guys, hey, I, I do want to stop and talk, but I'm going to be Drake. Oh, and, uh, he was the nicest guy and gave me like six, seven tickets for the show. Like usually people give you like one or two. Oh he my gave me God. about seven tickets to the show. Now this is the problem because I have these interactions with people and I, I don't want to say I forget that I'm a producer, but I just don't shoot my shot all the time in those moments. Cause I just I like living in the organic mm. feel of it. So I took my tickets. We had a cool chop up. And I went to the show, it was great, but then I didn't get the, I didn't get the number one song out of it. Oh. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna run into Drake again. Yes. And this time I'm just gonna ask for his email address, send him over the beats. He's gonna listen to the beats and say, this is great because I really need your energy. And he's gonna invite me to Toronto, to the studio. And I'm gonna be in the room with him together. We're gonna write the songs together. Mm. I'm gonna do the beats on the spot in front of him so he can see what a home cooked cosine beat looks like you know what i'm saying it's gonna be hot sometimes my beat are so hot off the plate that you gotta blow on it like you have a suit like because you don't want to burn your tongue on a cosine beat you don't want to singe your tongue and mess your taste when you got the and then he's gonna drop a classic verse on it that's how it's gonna happen who are you <laughs> yes drake look forward to it shout out to toronto with that level of detail how could he not Come on. What's Coach, I hear these beats, but I need you here. No problem, Drake. Send the jet. No. Send the jet. Yeah, I'm just going to pack a few things. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, but here's my question. I did have this question for you, honestly, when you're telling this story. 
Do you yeah. ever get, like when you, do you ever work with someone that you're a fan of? Do you ever get nervous? Like, what does that feel like? Do you ever feel like you, you know, are, are nervous in the studio or anything like that? Like, how does that sort of work out? Um, yeah, I always get nervous. You know, I get, I was nervous on, on my show last night, you know, talking to Master P. Um, but it really like, the, the, at this point, the nerves, it isn't like a jittery thing. It's like, I just end up not saying exactly what I wanted to say. Like I look back mm. at certain moments and be like, now why the hell did I say that? You know what I'm saying? It's not, I'm usually hard on myself, so it's not that bad. But sometimes when I'm in these moments and the nerves are there, it's just like, ah, ah, I really want to be a little bit more clearer, but I was nervous. And I know they couldn't tell, but I knew inside. Mm. And you just roll with the punches, you know what I mean? And then you learn and the next time you're more aware, yeah. Yeah, well the, the cool part about it is, is when you run into <clears> celebrities <throat> that are so disarming, they're disarming and they're so chill that the nervousness just kind of subsides and now you feel like, oh man, we must have met, you know what I'm saying, in another lifetime before or something like that. Like, uh, were our ancestors cool somewhere on this globe? Because it's just a disarming conversation, you know? Besides Drake, who else would you say is one of the most disarming people that you've met or worked with? Jay-Z. Mm. Jay-Z. Yeah, um, I was, uh, I called him Mr. President. <laughs> And I was like, oh, man, El Presidente, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, hold on, man, don't, I think he said something like, don't try to cheat my brand or like, hold on, like, it was almost like, president, bro, I'm, I'm a king out here. So like, he almost, <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, that was a bar, he's Jay-Z, he's Jay-Z in real life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he was suave, he was suave, he was chill. I love um, that. All right, so we have Jay-Z on our list, but we have a couple others. Are you ready to spend one more time? One more time, let's go for it. Let's All right, let's go, Cosign, here we go. Who is the third collaborator? It's Queen B. Queen B, there it is. Let's talk about Beyonce. Beyonce. You know I was gonna make it land Beyonce. on that one anyways. <laughs> Beyonce is gonna call and say, Coach, I wanted to call you when I posted Kelly Rowland three times in a row on my Instagram page. I wanted to call you then, but I was wrapping up my album, my Disney album, and you know, I was doing all these collabs in Africa and I hadn't made it over to you. Um, but I do know that you're Panamanian and Guatemalan and I need some gourmet ratchet Afro Latino vibes. I also know that you're from Chicago. And so that's really that ratchet Chicago bounce, that Chicago soul. That's the specific sound that I need. And then I'm gonna say B, I've been praying for this moment my whole life. Okay, so this is Destiny B, and I'm, I just want you right now to just trust the process and know that I'm not gonna deliver, I'm gonna over deliver. You have yet another classic on the way, and I'm here for you B, I am here. There it is. Did there you is. practice that before we got on here? That was too good. I know I see these things. I you can feel them. it. Okay, go son. This is my thing. If when if and when, no not in, when you collaborate with everyone on this wheel, you have to come back to iHeart and we're spinning again of the next few that we have. That's what we do. We have our mess. This is a new practice that we have. The cosign Emily Manifesto. The cosign Emily Manifesto because this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I did a TED talk and the TED talk was called Rewrite Your Life. And it was about five years ago. And it's funny because one of my good homies saw it and he was like, yeah, you know, when I watched your TED talk, I said to myself, oh, I see what he's doing. Really doing was trying to trying to speak a prophecy over my life, you know, mm -hmm. not necessarily knowing that the next five years would include being on Apple Music and getting into radio, being live in over a hundred countries, flying to New York to fill in for Ebro being on TV for the first time as a host on a show called Man Cave BT, meeting Lee Daniels and producing the music for Empire and Star and getting into TV and film and acting and getting my SAG card. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had no idea that's what the next five years would entail. But, you know, you gotta dream big. Dreams come true. And honestly, it's the power of manifestation. Like, I, I already know that this is gonna happen and I believe you. So if I believe you that much and you believe in yourself that much, it's like, I mean, that's when you know it's it's destined for greatness for sure. 
Cosign, thank you so much. This has been so great. I'm so excited for you. Can't wait for all these collabs to happen. And everyone watching, make sure you stream all of Cosign's music on iHeartRadio. And thank you yes, so much again yes, for being here. Kings, get everybody vote. See you in a minute. Thank you again, Emily. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Honestly, I'm like smiling ear to ear from this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.